Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today as I introduce you to NC Shop Floor Programmer and provide you with a demonstration of what we can do with it. So let's get into it. So what is NC Shop Floor Programmer? It is a Delmia manufacturing role on DeSoSystem's Systems 3D Experience platform. This means it benefits from all of the platform's intelligent data management system, as well as all of its collaboration tools. As the name implies, it is a cam role, and it comes with all the tools you need to program two and a half axis and basic three axis machining, laser and water jet machining, as well as wire EDM cutting. Now, you'll also have the ability to store company know-how and best practices so that they can be reused later. You'll have the ability to validate all of your programs with 3D simulation, so you'll be able to check if there's any gouging or any collisions on your part before posting it to the machine. Now, let's jump right into a demonstration. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to program a 2.5 axis part using NC Shop Floor Programmer. Let's get into it. Here I have the 3D Experience platform opened up in my browser. This is my dashboard where I can view and access the Delmia communities to post questions, find answers, and learn what's new. I'll click on my compass to show my assigned roles. From here, I'll select NC Shop Floor Programmer to show the apps that come with this role. I'll click and launch Shop Floor Machining, our app for programming 2.5 axis and 3 axis parts. This will open an app directly on my computer. To get started, I'll jump back to my platform where I'll drag and drop a template right from my bookmarks. This template contains my machine and tool crib I plan to machine my part with. From here, I can mount in my part. We have a couple options to do so, but for this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and search it at the top. Now I've got my part mounted, you can see it's a pretty simple part with just mainly 2.5 axis features. So to get started, I can define my stock. In this, we have a variety of different options we can use to define stock, but in this case, I'm just going to use a rectangular blank that is the size of my part. So all we're going to be doing is machining out those features that we see. So now that we've got our stock set up, we can utilize built-in tools to automatically detect features and holes in our part. We can even automatically collect identical holes into patterns that will reduce our programming time. Identifying features in our part is useful as it will automatically collect all of the geometry we will use for our operations, and it will also keep track of them so we know what features have been machined and which ones haven't. In our manufacturing view, we can confirm all of the features have been recognized. Just before we start creating our operations, I can use the measuring tool to check for geometry when I'm trying to determine which tool I will use. So this is gonna be obviously very useful on holes as well as radii. In shop floor machining, we have access to a variety of different operation types, ranging from 2.5 axis prismatic operations to three axis surface operations and axial operations. These make up the fundamentals that enable us to program two and a half axis and simple three axis parts. I'll start by adding some roughing operations. We select the tool we wish to use, followed by the feature or geometry we want to machine. From here, we are presented with operation parameters that we can modify if needed. These include geometry, patterns, stepovers, depth of cut, high-speed machining, lead-ins and outs, feeds and speeds, and much more. We see the computed roughing path for the bottom pocket. Now I've completed all of my roughing operations with my large end mill. Before going down to the smaller end mill for finishing operations, I'm going to drill out the holes. I would normally use spot drilling here before drilling, but for simplicity, I'm just going to use drilling. I can add a drilling operation using the hole pattern, 
so that the machining will be applied to all identical holes. We can select different drilling methods if we wish to as well. And just like roughing, we have a variety of different operation parameters we can modify if we need to. So our drilling is done, and the last thing we want to do is add in our finishing operations with a smaller end mill. We will use a contour operation, and just like the operations before, we select our tool and a feature or a geometry we want to machine. Because all of the features were recognized automatically, we don't need to spend time manually defining the geometry of everything we machine. And again, we have access to all the operation parameters we need to modify the operation. Now all of our contouring operations are complete. So now we can use the built-in simulation tools to validate our program before posting and sending it to the machine. Shop floor machining is also capable of machine simulation. Right now we're using a generic machine with no 3D models, but if we had 3D models we could show fixtures and the machine moving, which would give us a better simulation and better collision testing. One cool feature that you could see is that each tool leaves a different color marking so that we can easily see how each tool cuts the stock and material. Once our simulation is complete, we can use the tool to compare between our machined part and our target part. We can apply custom color coding and deviation values. Once you verify your program is good, all we have to do is produce the NC code. This can be done very easily, and once the NC code is made, you can review it in the editor of your choice. Here I have it opened up in Notepad. So there you have it. This was an overview of NC Shop Floor Programmer and using it to program a 2.5 axis part. We learned that NC Shop Floor Programmer is a role in the 3D Experience platform where it benefits from intelligent data management and connectivity to collaboration tools. It provides tools for 2.5 axis and 3 axis machining, laser and water jet cutting, as well as wire EDM machining. You have the ability to store company know how and best practices to reuse later and you're also able to validate your programs with 3D simulation. If you're interested to learn more, reach out to CAD Micro and check out our website. We will be creating more videos for Shopfloor Programmer to show its capabilities, as well as a bunch of how-to videos for using it to help you all find success with it. So stay tuned for that. Just wanna thank you all again for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again in the coming videos. Thank you.